Electric vehicles EVs, have been growing in popularity as a sustainable alternative to fossil fuel-powered cars. However, like any emerging technology, EVs pose specific challenges and risks, especially during natural disasters such as hurricanes. These severe storms not only threaten lives and infrastructure, but also introduce complications for EVs, ranging from structural damage to electrical hazards. Flooding is a common consequence of hurricanes, and electric cars are particularly vulnerable to water exposure, which can damage their high-voltage batteries. Unlike combustion engine vehicles, EVs rely on large lithium-ion batteries, which, if submerged, can short-circuit and potentially catch fire or explode. Salt water, often present in coastal areas, worsens the situation by increasing electrical conductivity, amplifying the chances of catastrophic failure. Even after the water recedes, EV batteries may ignite hours or even days later, posing continuous danger to rescue teams and nearby infrastructure. If a lithium battery catches fire, the resulting fire is extremely difficult to put out. Unlike a conventional fire, high-capacity batteries can experience thermal runaway, where a damaged cell causes a chain of chemical reactions in neighboring cells, fueling the fire. This type of fire can burn for hours, releasing toxic gases and requiring thousands of gallons of water to control. Hurricanes often destroy power grids, leaving entire cities and regions without power for days or even weeks. For those who rely on electric vehicles, this poses a major problem, as without electricity, there is no way to recharge the vehicle. Unlike combustion-powered vehicles, which can be fueled with emergency fuel tanks, EVs do not offer such an easy solution during prolonged blackouts. Hurricanes often result in large areas being evacuated in short periods of time. The limited range of electric vehicles can be a problem in emergency evacuation situations, especially if charging stations along the way are unavailable or damaged. Unlike a gasoline-powered car, which can make quick stops at gas stations, an EV requires more time to recharge, which can create congestion and increase the risk for those trying to flee. Insurance companies and repair shops also face unique challenges with electric vehicles after hurricanes. Assessing damage to an EV is more complex than it is for traditional vehicles, as a poor inspection can miss battery failures that will manifest later. While electric vehicles present challenges in natural disasters, there are strategies that can help mitigate these risks. Educating EV owners is essential, advising them to avoid driving in flooded areas and to charge their vehicles in advance of hurricane warning situations. What do you think? Drop your comments below, hit the like button if you enjoyed this, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the world of automobiles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.